YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time of day it is, you guys are watching this video. Track Stop it back in child with another one. Thank you for tuning in to 808s and Kicks. So, as we all know, we had Yeezy Day that just passed these past few days. A whole lot of W's going out. whole lot of W's going out. Uh, me, myself, I didn't get a ton. I wasn't going for everything on, on the confirmed app. It was only certain, certain kicks that I wanted to get my hands on. And uh, I got lucky, you know? I did. So... As we all know, uh, Adidas is basically getting rid of a lot of their stock and um, a lot of their stocks of Yeezys, you know. And uh, I think, let me just look at the numbers here. It says 682,300 pairs of Yeezys were released. And I guess that's in total. And 170.5 million dollars sold. That's like the, the number that they sold worth, which is a crazy ton. It says Kanye was 15% royalty. 25 million dollars is what he got. I'll put it up here so you guys can check it out. It's a pretty decent number. Pretty decent number. And in recent news, they said that was put out Kanye West wins legal battle over Adidas to regain his Yeezy bank accounts re worth reportedly seventy five million dollars. So if you if you if you if, if you Yeezy right now, you you just sitting there eating, you eating and he ain't got to do nothing. Crazy, 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 you know, uh, some of the proceeds uh, for Adidas, what they're doing. Um, let me look here. So it says, so it says Adidas will be donating some of the proceeds to charity. Of course, Kanye is going to get a cut of that. You know, that's part of the agreement. And um, yeah, you know, I recently, speaking of donating to charity, I recently read something about Nike's co-founder, um, Phil Knight. They say he donated $400 million to the 1803 fund, which will help rebuild black communities in the Portland area. Now, if y'all don't know, you know, Nike is based out of Oregon. And um, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. You know, I haven't read too much on that. That was just something that I um, scrolled past on Twitter and checked out. And um, I think that's pretty cool, man. I mean, why not, you know? So, but moving right along, you know, I think, I think Yeezy Day was a success. Seemed like everybody that was putting in for pairs, they were eating. Me, myself, I didn't hit on any of the slides. I didn't hit for any of the foam runners. It is what it is, you know. They had over 15 different pair, uh, 15 different silhouettes that released. And, um... It's crazy. Like I told you guys in my previous video, I personally had never hit on the confirmed app until recently. I have a pair of these triple white Yeezys and believe it or not, when I got these a few years back, I didn't get this through the Adidas app. I actually had paid resale and got these off somebody. Luckily for me, I didn't pay a ton of resale, but um when I got it, you know, uh, when I got the all white ones, I was like, man, I want to give me an all black pair. I want to give me an all black pair now. Um, I didn't hit on the pirate blacks. That was one of the most sought after pairs that everybody was going for on the confirmed app. But I did hit on the um, the all black pair, the Onyx. So I'm happy with that. I do own the bread colorway of the Yeezys, but I don't. I don't even know. I don't have them around me anywhere. Anyways. I don't have I do I do own the, the bread pair, but I want an all black pair. All black pairs of Yeezys seem to do pretty well in the resale market. I didn't get those for resale. I wanted those for personal. And yeah, you know, happy with that. You know, sometimes when we get dub dubs these days, they come when we least expect it. I ain't got money out the out the hoo-ha like that. But I've seen some people, they were getting like every they were like flawless with all they dubs like every every pair that they went for they got it they they hit they hit they hit and you know i salute that you know 
supposedly the more you buy with your pet your, your points and stuff like you know you have your different different tier levels on a, on a confirmed app those increase your chances of hitting nike might want to take notes you know but we don't make the rules um yeah that was pretty cool uh i know the first day when the first drops started dropping speaking of nike they had the um uh it's like there's sneakers live going on and it was not that many people viewing they live at all you know so <laughs> i guess that was a one up for adidas you know uh, but you know all in all you uh, i feel like easy day was good fun and it's not over with guys it's not there will be more pairs releasing um supposedly it's supposed to be uh 350 granite colorway granite colorway that's supposed to be releasing um me personally i feel like it looks very very similar these are the easy slates i feel like it looks very very similar to this to this colorway um and when did these come out i forget i think these came out in i think these came out last year but yeah that granite colorway it looks very very similar to the easy slates in my opinion me personally i won't be going for the granites being that i already have these and um i remember when these released these were easy to get these were literally just sitting on a wall that one one day i walked in the finish line unexpectedly saw it and saw it on the wall and i was just like all right cool i'm i'm a cop um yeah so i don't know what's gonna happen in terms of the resale market with yeezys uh, uh if you guys are trying to make money the best thing i can tell you is you get your sneakers in get them off quick now i do know that i do know that um what they said they said like the shipping days expected to be delays is going to be like it could be like 20 days until you get your pairs in which is fine i know those that are trying to resell they want them in now quick so you can get them off fast you know which makes sense but at the same time i know that adidas is pretty much backed up with shipping out people pairs because they're not just shipping to the u.s you know they also shipping overseas as well too so you know they got their hands full right now you know me personally i'm just glad honestly that i hit for the, the onyx and they can get here next month for all i care you know those are for the personals but um if i was a betting man again i can't predict guys but if i was a betting man um if you're trying to get pairs off like say the slides or any of the pairs of 350s and stuff i do know that historically you know in the past black yeezys do very well in the resale market and mainly if if i was to assume it's a good investment later down the line you know prices might skyrocket i don't think they're gonna be like you know for a pair of like 350s i don't i don't see them going for like four i mean 500 or something maybe somewhere in the threes and stuff so you still get a little bit of change you know but it's it's cool you know these is getting them off everybody's happy you know demand for yeezys is still there because the app was tripping out it was hard to get it was hard to get in and sign in had to keep trying keep trying keep trying keep trying and then i finally was able to sign in so i'm pretty sure that was due to a lot of people being on the app and just waiting on the countdown and waiting to hit and stuff with a pairs and stuff but you know we'll see what happens with the next one i don't know when the next one's gonna be i don't know when the next release is gonna you know when when it's, when it's gonna be another you know release uh yeezy release but it's not over yet you know that is the word right now i'm pretty sure that's not all adidas stock this is just the first wave first wave of things um i me personally i'm not really looking forward to the next one i got the all black ones that's what i wanted and i'm happy with that uh if you guys are um looking for looking toward the next easy easy restock or whatnot um just stay tuned there's gonna be somebody putting it out you know word travels like wildfire as soon as there's like a shock drop or anything y'all see how everybody always hear about shock drops i don't even call it shock drops no more if everybody know shock drops used to be it just happened boom okay hurry and get on the app but nowadays we get we get some information 
and everybody just sitting there just waiting just 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 sitting there you know like 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 uh like a lion waiting in the grass to pounce on his his, his meal you know <laughs> but um congrats to those who uh who hit on on adidas congrats to those who got pairs multiple pairs if you went for like eight pairs and you ate for eight you know salute you uh congrats but um yeah you know adidas adidas did their thing and um you know before i end things i just want to say what's gonna happen with adidas though you know um they had beyonce they had pharrell but let's be real y'all the numbers for that stuff did not do nowhere near as much as the numbers for you know the yeezys and stuff man you know i mean what what's what's adidas gonna do next who's gonna be their next biggest name that is gonna help with with them competing with the other brands out there you know nike and you know mainly nike you know so it's gonna be interesting to see you know sneakers sneakers is, th things with sneakers is always forever changing you know you see you see people joining like for example uh Kyrie. he's not with nike no more what's he gonna do next who's he gonna join he's supposed to be joining somebody i mean that was the word that was put out soon so definitely would be like just I, def, I definitely am anxious you know you know excited to see where things will be where things are going to be going moving forward you know so it is what it is y'all but you know what I'm not gonna hold you up in this video y'all stay blessed stay fresh love your loved ones like it's no tomorrow i will see you guys very soon on the next one until then peace